You're watching Tag TV. From Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages, and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Ganesh Chaturthi, one of India's most well-known and auspicious celebrations, is the ideal fusion of vitality, culture and history. It is a highly anticipated holiday celebrated in honor of Lord Ganesha, the Hindu god of wisdom and is especially popular in the south and west of the nation. See how Indians celebrated Ganesh Chaturthi this year with pious zeal and artistic flair. Hundreds of thousands of devotees across India throng temples to celebrate the birth anniversary of the Hindu elephant god Ganesh as they offer prayers to the deity of prosperity. Ganesh Chaturthi or Vinayak Chaturthi is celebrated in honor of Lord Ganesh, who is considered the deity of prosperity by Hindus. The festival is majorly celebrated in the western and southern parts of the country. पैर <laughs> उनकी हर इच्छा पूरी करके हम अपनी प्रॉब्लम्स उन्हें बताते हैं हम लोग वो हमें हमारे प्रॉब्लम्स सॉल्व करते हैं हमें बहुत अच्छा लगता है पापा से बात करके The Western Mumbai city saw a sea of devotees offering prayers to an idol of Lord Ganesha as the priest performed rituals and aarti at the Siddhi Vinayak Mandir Worshippers pray to Lal Bagh Raja which is a large Ganesh idol at Lal Bagh in Mumbai. People here can also place an online order for prasad. Police personnel welcomed police bappa at Vilipali police station in the city. Wearing a khaki uniform, the police bappa holds a mobile phone in his hand. The purpose behind bringing police bappa is to create awareness about cyber fraud. Meanwhile, Hyderabad city celebrated the day with a giant sized idol of the deity. The largest idol is installed at Hyderabad's Khairatabad. मेरा पुलिस बापा लाने का कंसेप्ट ये है कि लोगों में अवेयरनेस लाने का फिर वो क्राइम के बारे में रहे ट्रैफिक रूल्स के बारे में रहे और इस बार हमने लाया है वो साइबर फ्रॉड के बारे में जो साइबर फ्रॉड ज़्यादा तरीके से बढ़ रहे या लोग उसमें जो फंस रहे जैसे तो उनको सावध करने का मेरा बापा इस बार प्रयास कर रहा है और उसके लिए उसने एक मराठी में गाना लाया है सावध रहा सावध रहा और उस गाने से थ्रू बता रहा है कि कैसा तुम्हारा फ्रॉड होता है इन गुवाहाटी Women also took part in the procession with great enthusiasm. They were seen walking with earthen pots on their heads. Devotees were seen waiting in queues to offer their prayers to Lord Ganesh. School children in Muradabad created rangoli from natural colors and flowers. to celebrate Ganesh Chaturthi. It's a very 
बहुत अच्छा लगा सुबह को साढ़े पाँच बजे आया हूँ एक्चुअली बहुत लाइन है लंबा लाइन है फिर भी बहुत पीसफुली मतलब सक्सेसफुल हुआ है मतलब बहुत अच्छा लगा सब लोग इतना मतलब अच्छे तरह से पूजा करने के लिए आए बहुत अच्छा लगा है बहुत एनवायरमेंट भी अच्छा है आज क्लाउड भी अच्छा है इन चेन्नई लार्ज गणेश आइडल्स व मेड ऑफ स्पेयर्स एंड कोकोनट पीपल ऑफर फ्रूट एंड प्रसाद टू द डेटी At the Puri beach in Odisha, sand artist Sudarshan Patnaik sculpted a statue of Lord Ganesh out of 3425 sand laddus. Women in Indore made small Ganesh idols from chocolate and decorated them. इस बार मोदी जी का आज़ादी महोत्सव चल रहा है और साथ ही साथ क्रिकेट मैच भी चल रहा है तो उसी की थीम पे हम लोगों ने गणेश जी बनाए हैं इस बार मैं चार साल से चॉकलेट के गणेश जी बना रही हूँ और हम लोग हर साल इनका विसर्जन दूध में करते हैं और उस दूध को हम लोग गरीब लोगों में डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करते हैं एवरी ईयर द फेस्टिविटीज गो ऑन फॉर टेन डेज एंड ऑन द लास्ट डे The idols are taken through the streets in a procession and immersed in a river or the sea. This visarjan symbolizes the seeing off of Ganesha's journey towards his abode, taking away with him the misfortunes faced by mankind. Unity in diversity is one of the most powerful thoughts that India has given to the world. The fact that a number of religions could reside peacefully on a single land has always left other countries spellbound. Examples of the harmonious coexistence could easily be seen in different nooks and corners of the country. A similar example was recently witnessed in Nagpur city of Maharashtra where leaders of religious communities attended the National Interfaith Peace Conference to spread the message of oneness for all. India has always been a land of mystics. Be it rishis, Sufis, monks, priests, gurus, or others, this is because the basic element of Indian culture and spiritual ecosystem is unity in diversity. Celebrating the richness of unity and India's rich cultural diversity, the National Interfaith Peace Conference was organized in Nagpur city of Maharashtra. ये देश सबका देश है ये देश संतों का देश है बाबा जी किसी धर्म के नहीं होते हैं वो ईश्वर के रूप होते हैं वो समाज के लिए होते हैं तो ऐसा ही काम जो है वो काम करने का संदेश इसी कार्यक्रम के दौरान हम देना चाहते हैं ये कार्यक्रम इसी की मिसाल है कि हम सब लोग जो हैं वो भारतीय है, हैं हम सब लोग जो हैं वो धर्म जो है वो सब में देखना चाहते हैं और वो धर्म ये है अल्लाह हो भगवान हो कोई भी हो लेकिन हम सब जो हैं वो ह्यूमन बींग्स हैं हम सब लोगों को मानवता संभाल के अपना काम करना चाहिए और ये कार्यक्रम मेरे लिए इसलिए महत्वपूर्ण लगता है कि देश में जो माहौल चाहिए ये कार्यक्रम बताना चाहता है कि यस ये पीस जो है वो हामनी जो है यही सबसे प्रिय और सर्वोपरि होनी चाहिए The venue of the event was the Darga of Baba Tajuddin where the 100th years or death anniversary of the saint was ongoing for the last two weeks. The conference was organized in the compound of the Darga premises. Organized by the joint efforts of the World Sufi Forum along with All India Ulama and Mashaq Port in collaboration with Baba Tajuddin Trust, the event was attended by leaders from all religious communities. The objective of the event was to give out loud the message of brotherhood and unity that prevails throughout the length and breadth of our country ye sandesh hai is desh ke logo ko manavta ka ek sandesh hai ekta ka jo baba ke bataye hue niyamon ke upar chalne ke liye hum aap chahte hain ke desh ki tarakki ke liye baba ke banaye usulon par chale aur ye desh tarakki karega यही मेरी आज की इस अवसर पर शुभकामनाएं हैं यही हमारे मुल्क हिंदुस्तान भारत देश की पहचान है तहजीब है कि सब धर्म के लोग आपस में प्यार मोहब्बत से आगे बढ़ते हैं और यही भारत देश को आगे लेके जाएगा इसी के लिए हम दुआ भी करते हैं अजमेर शरीफ और बाबा ताजुद्दीन अलिया की दरगाह पे तमाम ट्रस्टी जो लोग हैं उन्होंने जितने भी लोगों को यहाँ बुलाया उन सबके लिए दुआ करते हैं कि मुल्क में अमन प्यार मोहब्बत बता रहे 
It is due to events like these that show that all Indian citizens are tied in a common knot of brotherhood and harmony. Now a roundup of some of the major stories that made news recently. Cast and crew of upcoming comedy drama film Goodbye launched its trailer in India's entertainment capital Mumbai. Indian producer Ekta Kapoor, actors Rashmika Mandana, Neena Gupta, Sunil Grover and director Vikas Pehel were among those who were present at the media interaction, while superstar Amitabh Bachchan joined the event through video conferencing. Uh, while uh, making this film, I was just feeling overwhelmed with the happiness of uh, family. And family is not just uh, mom, dad, sister, brother. Family is also friends, family is everything. And uh, I was just getting happy while writing it, you know. And I was thinking anything and everything that we face together uh, is happiness. And uh, I could somehow find uh, the happy side to everything. The film which stars superstar Bachchan deals with the story of a family and showcases the relationship of a father and his children after the death of their mother. Mandana, a popular actor who appears in South Indian films, will mark her Hindi film industry debut with Goodbye. The film will hit the theatres on October 7th. A python in India's western Mumbai city was treated with reconstructive surgery after the reptile suffered maggot wounds in its oral cavity which led to infections. The surgery was done by taking tissues from uninfected areas of its skin and muscles and attaching them to the affected ones to facilitate feeding of the animal. आज एक सर्जरी जो प्लास्टिक सर्जरी हम कह रहे हैं इट्स आल्सो कॉल्ड एक रिकंस्ट्रक्टिव सर्जरी मतलब हम टिश्यू ग्राफ्ट मसल ग्राफ्ट उसके बॉडी के दूसरे हिस्से से जाके वो हिस्से में डालते हैं जिधर इंजरी है ताकि वो उसके वो वापस खाना खा पाए उसका जो इसोफेगस है जो उसका फूड की नली हम बोलते हैं वो भी हम रिकंस्ट्रक्टिव करने वाले हैं सर्जरी में the 10 feet long reptile was rescued by the forest department from Mumbai's Chambur area last month. Pythons are among the largest snakes in the world. They are normally not considered dangerous to humans but have enough muscle power to overcome and swallow an animal. India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities. Even today, the teachings of these Sufi saints inform the lives of the people and this was very well reflected during the special prayers at the shrine of Saint Hazrat Maktoum Ashraf Jahangir Sanmani where people of all faiths assembled to seek the blessings of the holy saint. Hundreds of devotees waited in long queues as they thronged the dargah of Hazrat Maktoum Ashraf Jahangir Sanmani to attend the Urs or death anniversary of the Sufi saint. This year, the 636th Urs of the Sufi saint was celebrated with great religious fervor. People of different religions attended the Urs celebration and offered flower garlands and chadars to the saint. <laughs> जहाँ बड़ी तादाद में हिंदू, मुसलमान, सिख अपनी मुरादें लेके आते हैं और अपनी खाली झोलियों को गोरे मुराद से भर के जाते हैं, ये कौमी एक जहती का ऐसा गहवारा है, गंगा जमुनी तहजीब का ऐसा मरकज है, इस तरीके का मरकज आप कहीं दूसरी जगह देखने नहीं मिलेगा। the Dargah is located in Ashrafpur Khichacha, which is a small town in Ambedkar Nagar district of Uttar Pradesh. It's been said that the saint was born in Senman in Iran and made a notable contribution and advancement of the Chishti lineage in particular. The shrine is built over a small hill and is surrounded by a pond. Devotees believe that the water of the pond has healing qualities. The Dargah's complex is decorated with marbles, tiles and glasses.
निशानी और यहाँ हर समुदाय के हर वर्ग के लोग यहाँ आते हैं और उनकी मनोति पूरी होती है Since ages, the saint like Hazrat Magdum Sanmani have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country, and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism. Over the past few decades, the number of billionaires in India has increased rapidly. Currently, the country has 166 billionaires, making it third in the world after the United States of America and China. This year Gautam Adani has managed to become the first Asian to make his way to the top 3 ranking of the Bloomberg Billionaires Index while many others have been included in the list. Indian business tycoon Gautam Adani has become the first Asian to make it to the top 3 ranking of the Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Adani, who has 137.4 billion USD fortune, now trails just SpaceX chief Elon Musk and Amazon's Jeff Bezos. 60-year-old Gautam Adani, who tried his luck as a diamond trader, has spent the past few years expanding his coal deposits conglomerate, venturing into data centers to cement, media, and alumina. Adani Group also owns India's largest private sector port and airport operator. The world's third richest businessman has pledged to invest 70 billion USD in green energy to become the world's largest renewable energy producer. The success of the Adani Group is a true reflection of the growth potential of businesses in India. Our growth and success have been recognized around the world. Several foreign governments are now approaching us to work in their geographies. I always believed India is one of the greatest country for an entrepreneur to learn develop and flourish According to the Forbes billionaires list for the year 2022 18 Indian billionaires made it onto the world's top 500 billionaires list Reliance Industries chairman Mukesh Dhirubhai Ambani founder of HCL Technologies Limited in Shivnagar and vaccine manufacturer Cyrus Poonawalla are among the top. Others include Lakshmi Mittal, Kumar Birla, Dilip Sanghavi, and Uday Kotak. Among the 2668 richest people on the planet, India has 166 billionaires, which puts the country third in the world after the United States and China. The number of billionaires is growing with the country registering a robust growth thanks to economic liberalization. proactive governance and the opening up of new avenues for startups India has a big jump in the ease of doing business uh, comparing to the other countries so and if you'll see we have number of startups in India biggest in the world and they are doing well also so that is the main reason India is producing many young billionaires in sectors like online shopping, real estate, financial services, pharmaceuticals and consumer goods. While many countries like Russia are witnessing a decline in the number of billionaires due to political conflicts and the pandemic and its after effects, India is on the growth trajectory owing to an exponential rise in investment opportunities. The country remains the world's fastest growing economy. with the GDP expanding 13.5% in the April June quarter, the quickest in a year. It came as no surprise when India recently overtook the United Kingdom to become the fifth largest economy in the world. According to a Bloomberg report, the size of the Indian economy in nominal cash terms in the quarter through March 2021 was 854.7 billion USD, while the UK was 816 billion USD. The synergized efforts of both private and public sectors are responsible for a consistently sharp rise of the Indian economy, and it is the government's endorsement of privatization of the market that is paving the way for more billionaires to make it to the Forbes list. India's economic rise is a testament to the sound fiscal policies behind the ever-strengthening brand India. And in the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus.
at his downtown Joburg studio, Blessing Gobeni mixes paint that he will use for his next body of work to be exhibited in London next year. This month, the 35-year-old showcased his work at South Africa's FNB Art Joburg Fair, a leading contemporary art exhibition featuring artists from across the continent, back in full swing after a two-year pause linked to the pandemic. I was sentenced to nine years in prison and then I stayed uh, in prison for those years. Then that's where I discovered that, oh, there's something. And though it was more of like killing of time, it wasn't like something that I was sure of. I was like, ah, let me just push my time and kill the time by drawing uh, other inmates' portraits and designing birthday cards and writing messages. His latest body of work titled Spirit of Water Dancing was displayed in front of colourful canvases with a painted set of antique armchairs and sofas inspired by an eerie discovery in 2016 of a chair in North Georgia allegedly stuffed with the hair of black slaves. The art fair has pioneered pan-Africanism since inception and this year featured exhibitions from galleries across Africa including Zimbabwe, Botswana, Ghana, Uganda and Nigeria. The fair also had various initiatives across the city such as Open Art, a program focusing on public art and installations in unexpected areas. This is a windmill farm for power generation in Kamisu city of Ibaraki prefecture of Japan. Windmills are lined up on the coast because of their ability to generate electricity year-round due to continuous flow of wind. Wind energy is one of the best sources of renewable energy. A number of companies are targeting construction, operation and management of windmill power generation as a feasible and profitable business opportunity. A number of windmills are being installed on the seashores in Japan despite of the geographical challenges in Japan. The Buenos Aires World Tango Festival kicked off with concerts, tributes and dancers from around the world showcasing their elegant footwork in the hope of making it to the next round of the competition. More than 1500 artists from 25 countries will participate in the salon and stage style competitions. Por ahí una gran expectativa vuelve el Festival Mundial de Tango de Buenos Aires. Y vuelve con todo, con una agenda realmente increíble. Ya el año pasado el festival fue pionero en la vuelta del tango a la ciudad después de la pandemia. Y este año con una agenda realmente impresionante, más de 30 sedes que participan, digamos, en realidad donde podemos disfrutar de este festival. 1500 artistas participando. The Salon Tango is often characterized by slow, measured and smoothly executed moves respecting the space of other dancers on the floor. The walk is considered the most important element. The stage tango is quite literally tango performed on the stage for a presentation to an audience. The 2022 festival also features performances by dancers and tango musicians, as well as workshops, classes and exhibitions, with spectators encouraged to join the fun and shake the leg themselves in milongas or tango dance halls. Solar power is the renewable source of energy where the sun's energy is converted into electricity via usage of solar panels. A number of solar power generation companies are present in Japan. All the firms are coming up with new variety of products for solar panel installation and management. 
屋上から環境に貢献ということでもともと屋上が、えー、事業領域になってましたこれから環境に向けて、えー、当社でできることというところで防水と再生エネルギーの太陽光に絡む、えー、間の基礎ですねこれを開発しました This solar panel move according to the direction of the sun, so it can store sunlight more efficiently. Technological advancements to operate renewable energy more efficiently play an important role in achieving the goal of carbon neutrality worldwide. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host, Uzma Jafri, and it's goodbye from the entire production team. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.